Also new at four, CMPD taking steps to bring closure in cases with unidentified victims through a new partnership. The department announcing today that it's working with the North Carolina Unidentified Project. This is a project that uses forensic genetic genealogy to assist law enforcement in identifying victims. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris shares more on the project and how it's helping detectives here in Charlotte. This partnership with the North Carolina Unidentified Project helped investigators solve a case that was more than a decade old, providing closure for police and for a family left with questions about their loved one. This is a full sibling and this is a half sibling. Forensic genealogist Leslie Kaufman is always looking for the missing piece. And you can actually use these charts to narrow down who is related to who in a family line. She searches through sites like GEDmatch and Family Tree, trying to use DNA data to track down family members who may be related to unidentified victims across North Carolina and help law enforcement close cases. And unfortunately, they can't do anything until they know who the person was. They've got to know their story. They got to know who this person was. And that was the case when a skull was found near Wadsworth Place, just north of Uptown in October 2010. Police not knowing who the skull belonged to for nearly 12 years. Uh, had it not been for this genealogy work and Leslie Kaufman, we never would have determined uh, this person's identity. CMPD funded the resources for the North Carolina Unidentified Project to trace the skull back to 45-year-old Napoleon McNeil. Prior to forensic genetic genealogy, uh, we had to rely on reports um, to make educated guesses to go out and find family members to potentially link our victims to. Um, and this tool has really just opened that up. CMPD looking to identify 11 other sets of unidentified remains with the help of the project. It's thrilling to be able to give these people back their names, give the family answers. Forensic genetic genealogy helping find the last piece to years old puzzles. Coming up at five, how forensic genetic genealogy helped identify McNeil and what this partnership means for the future of cases within CMPD with unidentified victims. At CMPD headquarters, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.